With booster shots of the COVID-19 vaccine likely to be rolled out in the fall, we're now learning more about the science behind how they'll be used and who could be likely to receive them first. Once we start seeing that protection wear off, that's when boosters will be needed. There's a phenomenon, it's called immune senescence, where the immune response fades and it's more pronounced in the elderly. Issuing an important message about safety, Beaumont Health Director of Infectious Disease Research, Dr. Matthew Sims says, when it comes to booster shots, it is not a one size fits all approach. In fact, he tells us research is already showing us choosing between Moderna, Pfizer and J&J &J comes down to science. What we've seen is that if you get the J&J &J and then boost with a Pfizer, um, you actually get a bigger response. So mixing actually seems to potentially give a little more response. In part of a recent statement, Moderna researchers telling the public, we believe a booster dose three is likely to be necessary this fall, particularly in the face of Delta. And those at the forefront of developing the next wave of protection will be building on data that exists, plus emerging variant trends. Are we at or near a point where there could be trials for new and improved vaccines? Pfizer is, uh, working on a Delta vaccine. Uh, I think uh, Moderna also is working on a Delta vaccine. And that's, you know, where they've changed the sequence of the RNA slightly. In Wayne County, leaders have and continue to urge citizens to consider wearing masks indoors once again and to get vaccinated if you have not already. Two members of Congress also weighing in to say this time of year must also be taken into account. We know that as our children go back to school, to me, that's one of my my elderly and my children are the two um, most vulnerable groups and we must protect them. There are children right now that have not got, been able to get the vaccine. We don't have a vaccine for some of the kids, you know, kids uh, as young as, you know, infants and so forth. So we need to be able to make sure that we're protecting everyone. And that means showing up for each other. And showing up does mean sometimes stopping the spread, which does mean wear a mask. Dr. Sims also telling us first responders, those with compromised immune systems and the elderly, they are likely to be in the first wave of those requiring a booster shot in the fall, and it could eventually be more routine for all of us and more efficient to roll out. Like we do with flu every year, right? All they do with flu every year is change it and make a, do a slight safety testing and uh, move on. Dr. Sims points out no one's being told to get a booster shot at this point. However, mutations of the virus are spreading quickly enough that they must be taken seriously. Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.